2018 to 2022, the country had no functional opposition. This was after the then opposition leader, Raila Odinga, and former President Uhuru Kenyatta said their differences aside with the handshake. Now, in those four years of the handshake, the government and the opposition read from the same script, agreeing on almost everything. In these past 12 months, things have been the complete opposite. Raila has turned to return to his former fairy self. From organizing nationwide demonstrations against President William Ruto's government, to releasing damning uh, desires on uh, recent scandals, Raila has been in his element in 2023. Our political affairs reporter Daniel Muthoka looks at the return of the old Raila and efforts by the opposition to keep the government in check this year. In March 2013, retired President Uhuru Kenyatta beat the then court leader Raila Odinga in a hotly contested presidential election to ascend to the highest office in the land. Uhuru's victory meant Raila would be returning to the opposition benches from which for years he had kept governments in check. In return, he did, from exposing several corruption cases in Uhuru's government during his first term to leading protests over, among other issues, IEBC's reconstitution, Raila was in his element. I, Uhuru Kenyatta. Four years down the line, another defeat at the ballot meant that Raila would remain as the opposition leader for another five years. I, Raila. Almost immediately after the August 2017 election, the then NASA leader led another round of demonstrations against the government that culminated in a mock presidential swearing-in ceremony. So help me God. This will go on for a few months. In March 2018, Raila and Uhuru descended the stairs of Harambe House to announce to the country that they had set their differences aside and that they would henceforth work together. This marks a new beginning for our country, a beginning in which we hope that we shall march together as Kenyans and that we can differ in terms of political alignment but always remain steadfast and united in matters Kenya. And we say that the divide ends here, beginning the process of building the bridge that, that binds Kenya together. The line between the government and the opposition was blood. The blissful relationship between the government and the opposition went on until the end of President Kenyatta's second and final term in office in August 2022. The government even backed the opposition's choice for flag bearer at the ballot, Raila, who was competing against the then deputy president, William Ruto. Ruto had fallen out with his boss Kenyatta and became the face of opposition within the government. Kazi yake ni kupiga mdomo na ye mwenyewe ya kondani ya serikali Hawezi kuhuja kukuambia eh? Anajaribu kusema ukiona barabara ni yeye Ukiona njaa ni mwingine Kwa ni serikali ni mbili Na mimi nataka ni mwambia rais Wacha kuniletea maneno my friend Wewe sukuma kandidate yako kwa nakitenda wili Unaniongelea nini Siju kama tunayelewana Mr. President, please stop talking about me. Talk about your candidate. After the August 2022 elections, Raila lost again. Ruto became president and immediately shut the door on any post election handshake with Raila, unlike his predecessor. Our position is that we should never be in the position that this country was put by the handshake, where there is no distinction between government and the opposition. Raila, who was 77 then, was under pressure to retire from politics, having lost the presidential election five times. Raila did not hang his political boots. If anything, 
he tightened the laces. A few months after Ruto moved into State House, the opposition leader began holding anti-government rallies to push for an audit of the election, which he claimed was rigged, as well as to push for the lowering of the high cost of living. The rallies went on for months until March 2023, when the opposition upped the ante. <laughs> Weekly demonstrations kicked off against the President Ruto administration. The protests continued for weeks in several parts of the country until April 2nd when Ryler called them off after a call for dialogue with President Ruto. I have carefully listened to the issues raised by my friend, the Honorable Ryler Odinga. In times like this, it is not about who is right, or who is wrong. In view of the foregoing, we stand down our demonstrations for Monday, that is tomorrow. A month after protesters left the streets to pave the way for talks between the government and the opposition, they were back in May. The talks had hit a snag. <laughs> A third wave of weekly demonstrations started in July. In some parts of the country, protesters lost their lives, others were seriously injured, while property was destroyed. The demos only came to an end after Raila and President Tuto met face to face on July 29th in a secret meeting in Mombasa. Indeed, there was a meeting uh, chaired by His Excellency Honorable Basajo. And uh, Baba accepted to appear in that meeting because of his respect for His Excellency Honorable Obasanjo. Niliongea na kiongozi wa upinzani na viongozi wa upinzani na nikawaambia ya kwamba the two agreed to return to the negotiation table and a national dialogue committee was established. For months, the committee negotiated and came up with the national dialogue report in November. While President Ruto fully backed the report, Ryla termed it a good start but unfinished. All the recommendations they have made, they are practical. We are going to work on those recommendations to reduce in areas they have recommended to do whatever they have uh, recommended in parliament those that belong to the executive i will make sure that we execute without any delay we made what we believed were reasonable proposals on how to address the rising cost of living but the government side flatly refused terming it their exclusive business and further arguing that they got the mandate of Kenyans to execute the Kenya Kwanzaa economic agenda. The document the team has come up with is ultimately imperfect and unfinished, but it is a, a good beginning. Several other opposition leaders wholly rejected the report that could be ultimately subjected to a referendum. So to Azimio, we had already agreed that three issues were deal breakers. Officia Prime Cabinet Secretary, Officia Upinzani, his office and as parliament waits to debate the report when it resumes early 2024, Raila has since reignited talks of a fourth round of demonstrations in 16 months should the government fail to address the high cost of living categorically in the National Dialogue Report. Zakayo. Zakayo. Zakayo shuka. Raila's sentiments are a clear indication that he is not relenting anytime soon to keep the government in check and a clear message to President Ruto that he is back doing what he does best. David Muthoka, KTN News, Nairobi.